welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and today we are filming one of my favorite things to film, smoothies. You guys know I am the green smoothie queen. I love a good green smoothie, but today I'm showing you guys some other options. These are immune boosting winter friendly smoothies because I get it. Not everyone wants to drink a smoothie in the winter time because it's cold. You want something like warm and hearty like a bowl of oats. Well, let me tell you, I'm going to show you guys how you can have smoothies all year round. These are hearty. They are warmed up with some delicious spices that are also immune boosting. So we're going to hop right in. I got my green smoothie that I'm drinking for breakfast today. Let's get into some smoothie making, shall we? First up is my creamy cashew chai smoothie. First up, you'll need some raw cashews. If you're not using a high-speed blender, make sure to soak them for a couple of hours. All the directions will be on the blog post below. For the chai seasoning, I have a mixture of cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and ground clove. Next, I'm adding in a medjool date. Make sure to take out that pit. I've done it before where I've forgotten and it's not a good time. Pure vanilla extract, raw ginger root, I've just peeled this one, and filtered water. You're gonna pop on the lid and blend this on high until smooth. Essentially, we're making a chai cashew milk that we're gonna turn into a smoothie. The best part about making cashew milk is that you don't even need to strain it if you're using a high-speed blender. Next, you can add the rest of your ingredients. I have some frozen cauliflower, as well as some banana that I forgot to show, but I threw in afterwards. Blend it on high until nice and creamy smooth, and I tell you, this tastes so decadent, yet perfect for the fall season, and you got some veggies in there too without it being green. Pour it into some fancy glasses, sprinkle it with cinnamon. I even added some toasted coconut flakes I just did on the stovetop, and you have a delicious fall latte looking smoothie. Next up, we have my kale mango ginger smoothie. You guys know I love my green smoothies and this one is perfect for the fall. Starting off with some frozen mango chunks, frozen banana, and frozen zucchini. For sweetness and texture, I'm adding in a medjool date. Once again, make sure to pit it. For some freshness and that extra vitamin C, I'm adding in some fresh lemon juice. These handheld citrus juicers are really convenient to use for limes, oranges, or lemons in this case. Adding in some raw ginger and a good handful of kale. For liquid, I have some unsweetened oat milk and water. I really like a combination of both water and milk. If you watch my common smoothie mistakes video, then you'll know why. Pop on the lid and blend until smooth. This green smoothie is very packed, but it comes out so smooth and delicious, and you really get that kick of that ginger and lemon, but it's balanced out with the mango and banana. Serve it in a tall glass and pop in a straw, and you're ready to sip. Next up, we have a really pretty pink one. This is a berry beet orange smoothie. I'm starting off with some frozen cauliflower. Make sure to check the blog post for exact directions on how I like to steam and freeze mine. Frozen banana, raw beet that I've just peeled and sliced, fresh orange, frozen raspberries. The combination of the orange and raspberry add a really nice sweet and tartness to the smoothie. I have some unsweetened oat milk and some water. Pop on the lid and blend until creamy smooth. I'm obsessed with the color of the smoothie and it proves that not every veggie smoothie has to be green. Serve it in a tall, pretty glass. If you're feeling extra fancy, you can garnish it with a wedge of orange and you're ready to enjoy. Next up, we have my pumpkin pie smoothie bowl. In the spirit of fall and Thanksgiving season, I thought this would be a perfect one to share. To my blender, I'm adding in pumpkin puree that I've frozen into cubes, frozen banana, a medjool date. If you didn't know, when you blend up medjool dates in a smoothie, they get super frothy and creamy, and it's even a good substitute if you can't have or don't like banana. For color and immune boosting properties, I'm adding in raw turmeric, creamy almond butter. I like to buy the natural stuff that doesn't have any added sugar in it. And for spices, I have a mixture of pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon. I find that the pumpkin pie spice alone never has enough cinnamon, so I always add in some extra. Now, because this is a pie after all, we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. Now for the liquid, I'm adding in coconut milk. You can either do canned or carton, depending on if you want this to be more dessert-like or for breakfast. I decided to make it more of a dessert and I'm also adding in some filtered water. I'm pretty much adding in all the ingredients I would use if I was making an actual pumpkin pie, except this one is drinkable or scoopable if you're doing it in a bowl like I am. Pop the lid on and blend until creamy smooth. The color and smell of this one is so amazing and milk watering, you'll just wanna drink it right away, but I'm gonna serve it in a bowl and add on some fun toppings. I'm adding on a swirl of some extra coconut milk, 
a good sprinkle of some pumpkin granola. I'll link some of my favorite granola recipes on the blog down below. Sliced banana, and another sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice. Honestly, smoothie bowls are perfect all year round, but I especially love them around the holiday season where I can add in some fun toppings and make it feel like a more comforting bowl of smoothie. There you have it, immune boosting winter smoothies. I know you will love. I'm gonna have all the recipes linked down below as well as my how to make the perfect green smoothie guide. It's free. That will also be linked down below if you guys want to uh, save that, print it out, put it on your fridge. It's such a great resource to have because I get so many questions about how I make my perfect green smoothie. So that's, that's my secrets guys. I'm giving it to you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos on this channel every single week and I can't wait to see you guys on here next week. Have a beautiful day. Cheers. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.